Hi there guys and welcome back to part 2 of Winter Boarding here all over and like you saw we took out the big hydro and headed towards all over sandbar where we found the big deadly machine killing the sandbar the big dredger and it was kind of early so there wasn't that many boaters there so we decided to keep going down south and you also notice that we got a stowaway on the boat today no and it wasn't Ogida it's our last puppy we're getting him used to the boat because they're trying to con me to keeping him but I guess it's okay because he's too cute and on our way down to downtown Miami we passed by with a future location for the boat show is gonna be held at and we also passed by Miami's number one tourist spot Bayside Marketplace and that's located in downtown Miami and right next to Miami River where you see all the charter boats come out on other YouTube channels with people having fun in the sun but at that point we decided to turn around and head over to the Irvine Island where we found plenty of people enjoying the water there and you can find this complete video on the link I'm gonna leave below or you can wait till the end of this video and click on the thumbnail to start watching it and after cruising by Birkin Island we went to our final destination all over sandbar where by this time there was plenty of boaters there enjoying what's left of the sandbar and talking about the sandbar I'm gonna answer a question that a lot of people have been asking me where are the people gonna hang out now well everybody's been talking about hanging out on the south smaller sandbar also located all over the only thing is the sand doesn't come up it stays about two to three feet of water and I guess for now that'll do but eventually within a year a year and a half the Hallover sandbar comes back and while we finish up anchoring we're gonna take a quick look and see what everyone else is doing here at the little sandbar And by the way guys, make sure you follow Fresco channel on all social media and keep up on the daily posts. And if it's your first time watching this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And if it's your first time visiting the channel, make sure to subscribe and turn on all notifications like that. You won't miss nothing else in the future. And well, for all my friends up north, this is how winter looks in Florida.
And you guys already know, I enjoy watching people have fun in the sun here at the sandbar. But watching this lady eat made me kind of hungry. All right, guys. So we're here having fun in the sun. But you know what time is it? What time is it? What time do you think it is? Is it big ones or little ones? What do you think it is? What do you think it is? Boom. It's some big ones today. Yeah, look at it. Oh, it's some big ones today. We're going to have some sausage time at the sandbar. Yep. It's about that time. It's time to uh, fill up the stomach with some good food. Well, guys, let's take a closer look at my favorite sausages. And the thought has been lingering in my mind. What do you guys think about Fresco Channel? Sausage time. The label. Because I spoke to the company and they might be willing to work a label for me since I eat them so much anyway. So what do you guys think? Should I get it out there in the stores? Will you guys purchase it? I don't know. Let me know in the comments. Maybe that'll help me make my decision. And yes, once again, I forgot the utensils to uh, move around the sausages. Oh, and talking about utensils, somebody said in a comment that they actually want to see me flip a burger with a knife. Well, next time I make a burger on the barbecue, I'm going to show you guys how it's done. And check this out. This is a surprise. My high school friend that I haven't seen in a long time showed up at the sandbar on his jet ski with his wife and daughter. I guess he came at the right time to try out the sausages. And I've known him over 35 years. And there is no better place here to catch up than at the sandbar having some good food. But it's too bad that Gabby didn't come because his daughter would have made a new friend today. But we'll be hanging out again in the future. So they will have another chance to meet. But now it's time to enjoy some good sausages. And while we enjoy some good sausages, he was kind enough to let Fraquito enjoy his jet ski. And now we're catching up with old times all the way back to the teenage years. And while we do this and enjoy some good sausages and good company, we're gonna go ahead and let the camera take one more look around the sandbar and catch the Florida boaters in their unique winter attire. And let me know what you think about their clothing. Will you wear it in winter time up north? Let me know in the comments.
cool let me know what you guys think about the unique florida winter attire will you wear it i mean i seen a few videos from up north especially the ladies they're pretty brave to run in the snow in a bikini and i even seen some jump on a cold iced lake now to me that's brave and amazing but like you notice some of the boaters are starting to leave the sandbar because it is getting late Well, finally, Fejito got back because he'd been riding the jet ski for at least a good hour. I guess he's getting it out of his system. But now we're gonna start picking up our stuff and pick up the anchor and start heading out and say goodbye to the sandbar. And hopefully it's here next weekend for you guys to enjoy because the daily dredger is working fast and even on the weekends. But if not, don't worry, we'll figure something out because a few of us are getting together working on a top secret mission as soon as you figure it out and get all the details definitely i'll let you guys know so stay tuned for a surprise coming up in the future and by the way if you guys are attending the boat show next weekend remember to check out lock marine and if you want to catch me there i'll be visiting on friday and look at this after having an amazing cruise around miami and now hanging out at the sandbar i didn't think that so many boaters were going to be here because the bar is almost gone but i guess that's not going to stop us from living the sandbar life and if you like that style of living you know you can always get your merch at www.frescochannel.com and something that you're going to notice that even though we're leaving and it is kind of late the miami sandbar party doesn't stop because the miami boarders like to party all the way to the last minute of the weekend 